Our Scofficer has just finished his new mod called Ectomongus Set Creatures. This mod is the first in a series of religion based mods, which are essentially a big refactor of his old mod, Magical Frowls, which I've previously featured on this channel. The new mods are more specific and also make more sense in terms of lore. For example, in Ectomongus Set Creatures, you get access to lizard minions and types of undead that make sense for the god set. So far he's completed the mod for Set, and also the mod for Yogg, but in the future there will be one for Mitra, which will add spirits and stone warriors, one for Dekedo, which will add lots of nice undead minions, but also in the works are mods for the other more obscure gods in Conan's universe, like Hanuman and even Dagon. This is all very exciting, and there's a lot to come. To start using the mod you need to craft this special soup in the Altar of Set, then once you have it, drink it, and then perform the special set emoji thing, and that will grant you the recipes. So here we've got the lineup. For the undead we've got the basic skeleton fighter, and you can give him any weapon you want, as long as it's one-handed, by dragging it into the first position in the inventory, and it gets equipped. This is the same for the skeleton fighter with armor, like this, he'll equip it. We can give him a truncheon if we want, like this thing. Then he'll use that. In the last mod, uh, this equipping of items could be quite buggy, but with the new mod it works very, very well. Moving on, we've got the Serpent Brute Skeleton. Then we've got the Undead Giant Shellback Bearer, and the point of him is mostly to carry stuff, but he's also very strong in his own right. Next up we've got the Undead Dragon. It looks very cool. It's also very strong. New to the mod are these cool things. Now what these are are people who've been dragged to the altar of Set and transformed into some kind of lizard, lizard man or lizard woman. They essentially work the same way as a normal thrall except that they're immune to poison, and they also deal poison damage of every hit. And they work just like a normal Frau. You can um, dress them up in armor and stuff like that. Then we've got the Cobra, which is this little guy. Then we've got the Giant Snake, which is a very powerful minion. A lot of hit points. Then we've got the Serpent Brute, which is this guy, pretty strong as well. Two new ones that weren't in the previous mod are the Serpentman Fighter, which is this guy, and the Serpentman Archer. Then we've got this new minion too. What it does is it works like a stationary turret. It'll just stay where it is and shoot globs of crap at the enemy which is really nice. You can set these up in battlements and they spit at the enemy. Finally, the most powerful minion we've got is by far the dragon. It's got 30,000 hit points. <laughs> it's insane, really. Very good. If we take a look at how these are made, I'll just run over to the various altars here. To build the lizard creatures like the dragon, and the snake warriors and all that, what you need to do is you need to build this reptilian egg transmutator. And you can make that by building the set altar. And then it's this one over here. Just requires some wood and some ectoplasms. I'll talk about the ectoplasms later. So once you've got that, what you need is these various materials and you can craft these egg items like this. And once you have these egg items, what you do is you take them and you put them into the reptilian incubator. And when you do that, you're able to craft the actual frail item which you place onto the ground. It all works quite quickly. Now you might be wondering how you can get these various stuff like abysmal eyes and abysmal flesh. Well, one way you can do it is the traditional way, and that's going into the dungeon, that big old dungeon down here, 
and losing all that stuff. But Arts Gothica has made a more convenient way for you to get this stuff. He's built this abysmal sacrifice altar. And what you can do is you can get a liquefied reptile body by using a special knife on a dead reptile. And then you can turn these into these components. So it's a more convenient way of getting that. I'll just show you how that works. So what you need to do is you need to build this ritual reptilian knife. And then what you need to do is you go and find a reptile, like a crocodile. And you kill it. And then you use the knife on the corpse. And you see this necromancer healing effect that just happened? That means it worked you get one of these a liquefied reptile body. Then you can put these in here and break them down into the various components you need. It's quite a slow process, but it's a lot faster than having to raid that dungeon. Now in order to make any of these things, you require these ectoplasms. And you can make these by uh, turning human hearts into these. This is a very slow way of doing it. There's another way of doing it, and that is to build these uh, orbs of ritual fire. With the orbs of ritual fire, you can summon these kind of ghosts from corpses. And if you have thralls that are equipped with these kinds of ghost weapons, or you have a ghost weapon yourself, then you're able to harvest ectoplasms from the ghost that's summoned. I'll show you how that works right now by killing these two dudes here. All right, so I've killed some people. Now let's summon the ghosts. We'll throw this orb on the corpses. And you see, the ghosts get summoned. Now we need to kill these ghosts. Which is quite a challenge. But it's a lot easier if you've got some frails to help you out. Now from hacking away at those ghosts, we've gotten these ectoplasms. And the Frowl should have some too. Yep. One of the most interesting parts about this mod are these reptile men. And how these are created is you have this altar here, and you drag a Frowl to it. And it transmutes them into a, a lizard person. And you can transmute any kind of um, person, like fighters or even you know workers like this guy this this medicine man here so to demonstrate this i've already knocked out some people over here so i'll just run in here whip out my chain hook one of these unfortunate people up and take them back to the altar for a fate worse than death transmutation into a very ugly cold-blooded reptile person and whoever you put on here will show up above the outer like that which is pretty cool it doesn't take normal gruel it takes a special reptilian gruel and that's made using ectoplasms and um, reptile hide as mentioned before the advantage of these kinds of frows, aside from them looking like reptiles, is that they deal poison damage of every hit, and they also have immunity to poison. And now we finally come to the undead stuff. As you can see, to make undead, a lot of things are required. You need bones, stuff like that. One of the easiest way to get bones is to use the, the, rep, the reptile ritual knife on a human corpse and you'll get one of these dismembered human corpses. When you take that to the undead altar of set, you put it in there, you can shred it. And when you shred it, you'll get bones like that and a skull as well. This is needed to build uh, most of the undead. Just trying to find a recipe. See, for this little skeleton fighter, we need a skull, which we just got from shredding the corpse. 
bones and some corrupted bones. Now here's the trick. To make corrupted bones, you need to build this necromantic rot stuff. And then you use that with normal bones. You get some of these corrupted bones. And again, for this, the ectoplasms come into play. So I went ahead and got the resources needed to build a basic skeleton fighter. I'll just craft him. As you can see, it's very quick, which is good because gathering all the things you need takes some time. Then once you have the body, you can then build the skeleton here as well. Somewhere here, there. Skeleton fighter. This takes a little bit longer, but it's still very quick compared to taming a thrall. Then once that's done, you get the skeleton fighter thrall item. You can just place that down on the ground somewhere. And then assign him a weapon to use. And that's it. So there you have it. Ectomonger's set creatures. Now I really like this mod of course. But what I like even more is the Yog mod. Which will be featured in the video very soon. The special Yog creatures like the Bishop of the Void which you can craft are incredibly cool. I'm scoring Ectomonger's set creatures a 10 out of 10. It's thanks to Ars Gothica's fine mods that I'm able to play and enjoy Code and Exiles as much as I do. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos on necromancy stuff.